Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Okay, so, um, I got some really bad news. Okay, so, uh, this week's video was supposed to be Toad's computer, but that got copyrighted by Disney. Like, I only added, like, a few scenes from that movie, or from, from the movie Endgame. You know, the most popular movie now, other than Avatar. That movie beat Avatar. I got beat Avatar's ass. Okay, so... New video called Evil Toad does not have, um, you know, Evil Toad does not have, um, right, ha, Evil Toad does not have a thumbnail, so, yeah. So, um, so this is the beginning of season six. I can't believe it's already season six of the the you know season or series, and that's going to be the final season. Or we're trying to get all the way up to 100 episodes, and we're gonna stop right there. Stop right there. We have 83 episodes now. We're gonna try to get to 100 episodes by. The end of this year, but I don't know how that's gonna work. We're going. We're, I'm going to try to make it an episode every single Sunday, or get an episode out um every single Sunday. Who knows what time? Um. But this, but this new one aired like a little early. Like this episode aired at like ten o'clock in the morning, I believe. So you got an episode a little bit earlier than expected. It's a, it was supposed to air next week, but I decided to film a new video today. I mean yesterday. So yeah, okay. So Toad's I mean Evil Toad is out, but the copyrighted video was um, Toad's computer that included like a few scenes from that movie, like. Oh, no. Ah. I think I'm going to go refilm that um, video possibly tomorrow and upload it uh, sun next Sunday. Uh, which is going to be like a. Uh, no, September 29th. Yeah. Alright, so. So I got two new Marvel movies on Blu ray. So I got Dark Phoenix and I got Avengers Endgame. These movies are like really good. I saw this movie in theaters twice, and I only saw this movie in theaters once. But I still love this movie, and I love this movie three thousand. Now I got every single Marvel movie, whoa, every single Marvel Cinematic Universe movie on Blu-ray. Got Iron Man, Iron Man Two, Incredible Hulk, but I said that out of order. So I got Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man Two. Uh, all the way to Avengers Endgame until I get Spider-Man Far From Home, which I already have on digital. Such a good movie. I already watched that like three times or like three times, four times already. I'm going to try to get it to like five times tomorrow or somewhere. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, I'm, I'm going to try to find that video for you guys. Uh, all right, I don't have any scenes um still on my phone because I deleted like five hundred downloads of pictures. That's a lot of photos. I had to delete every single one because my phone was freezing up every single minute. So I had to delete every single every single video and every single one. Okay, so. Trying to find the deleted video, which is blocked from from worldwide. It cannot be just be blocked from a different country. And it could have been better. Literally, it, it could have been better. Okay, so it wouldn't be there. It would be like in a YouTube studio because that's where I can find it. So. It says that it's uh it says it's public, 
but you guys can't watch it because it's, uh, because it's, you know, uh, It's not on. Okay. On there. Right. What should I do on my new okay, so this on. video is pretty long. It's like thirty minutes long, almost thirty minutes long. It's like twenty nine and a half minutes. So it's pretty long for a video, longer than a TV episode of Family Guy or South Park or Simpsons. But the the the, um, the the scenes from you know the scenes from uh, Avengers Endgame were all just reactions of him reacting to the the video the movie. I didn't I didn't include the whole movie because it's so because it's long and all that. Like, come on, the movie is three hours long. It says uh, it's 181 minutes long. That's three hours long. And I sat through the whole movie for three hours without using the bathroom. Saw that twice in theaters like the same week. It came out. That's like amazing. I don't know how many people saw that the same the same week the movie came out. And the movie was like amazing. Like I... I actually experienced a lot of people clapping when everyone came back. And that portal scene, like, oh my god, it was just amazing. I clapped when Spider-Man came back. That's how amazing it was. But we need to bring Spider-Man back from um, from Sony to, because Sony took Spider-Man out of the MCU. We need Spider-Man back into the MCU. So we can get another Spider-Man movie. And include like another Avenger. Because if we get like a Spider-Man movie without the MCU. It's going to get a little. Oh, it's going to get complicated. Like what even is good with the with the Sony Spider-Man movies? Like, that, that's just awkward. I, I know they're good and all. But the MCU um, Spider-Man movies are better because... Look, you don't just get the Spider-Man movies in the MCU. You get him in the Avengers. He's an Avenger. Have you read any of the Have you read any of the Avengers comics? Here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll Google it. Okay, so Spider-Man, and. All right, Spider-Man and. Avengers comics. So he was an Avenger in the well, sort of an Avenger. And it says Avengers starring Spider Man, Nuff said Stanley. I can't believe it's almost been a whole year since he died. It's almost been a whole year. Since Stan Lee died. That's just wow. And you remember that, that cartoon called Ultimate Spider Man? He was part of oh well, he was part of like like about like he was part of like SHIELD and the Avengers. Because Iron Man was in it and other Avengers were in it. He also met the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's how amazing that was. I saw that show when I was about about eight years old. Yeah, eight years old because that's when the TV show came out. I was eight years old and that show came out. Oh my god, it's amazing! I can't believe that that show's like really old now. Cause I'm 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 15 years old now. That show is seven years old now. And that show came out the same time when the Avengers came out. And the Amazing Spider-Man. That's just crazy. What other Marvel movies came out in 2012? Those are like the only two Marvel movies I know that came out in 2012. Unless Ghost Rider came out in 2012. I'm going to go for now. Ghost Rider. 
No, that, uh, no. No, um, it came out in 2011. I thought it came out in 2012. Huh, it's awkward. I don't, re I don't remember seeing any um, trailers in 2011. I thought this came out in 2012. Yeah, February 17th, 2012. Yeah, same actor and everything. Well, I heard this movie sucked. I didn't see this one yet, uh, although this movie's almost... Movies old though. I do have some Nicolas Cage movies. I'm not counting animated movies like Spider Man into the Spider Verse or The Crudes. Yeah, he was the main character in then The Crudes. I'm talking about like uh, Drive Angry. Has anybody seen that movie? Drive Angry? Yeah, it's like a little. It's like a no, it's an awesome movie. Yeah, this movie got like 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's like, wow. That's a movie short. If you if you guys see the new Rambo movie, uh, Last Blood, that movie. Oh. Last time I checked, it was like only 80 minutes long. Like, who wouldn't want to sit in the theater for like 80 minutes just to watch some boring movie? Because the movie got like a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes and 30% on on Fandango. And 7 out of 10 from I am, I am DB. And I am not seeing this movie in theaters. It just looks boring. And okay, so but I do want to go see the Joker movie that got like ten out of ten from IGN. It is R rated. I've seen so many R rated movies in all this year. Got a nine point five from I am. DB. That's amazing. And 75% from Rotten Tomatoes. But still, it got a 10 out of 10 from IGN. October 4th. That's almost. That's. Just to say, that's next week. October 4th is next week. Hey, isn't she from uh, uh, the. Isn't she from the Deadpool 2 movie? That one actress that's um in um yeah she, she yeah she plays as a Domino I believe yeah she plays as Domino she plays as the uh she plays as the main female character in the movie Vanessa is not in the whole movie she dies like in the beginning of the movie so she's not really the main character although we do see some scenes with her in it but she's not really the main character. But Batman. All right, so I'm gonna look for showings for the movie. I do want to see it like opening night or not the opening night. I have school the next day. Uh, same like the opening day, like October fourth. Okay, today is September twenty second. I remember like uh, two years ago, everyone thought the world was gonna end. That was, that was a piece of shit. Okay, so we're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna show us for Joker. Oh, I'm just gonna go look on um, AMC because I go to AMC instead of Regal. I don't like Regal that much because they're so damn expensive. Oh, that. Okay. Uh, so they're playing princess movies this year. Well, as always. Okay, so I'm gonna go see new Joker movie or. Okay. But. Four o'clock. On October 3rd. Really? I get out of school at that time. <laughs> oh my god. Abominable. I do not want to see that. Uh, Because it just looks boring and stupid. I'm not into that, those kind of movies. It looks like some type of movie furries would watch. 
The Adams Family 2019. I do not want to see that. Zombieland 2 Double Tap is a movie I want to go see in theaters. I saw the original one when I was only like nine years old. So that was really that was really funny. Terminator Dark Fate? I don't know. Red Rum? No. But Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Have you guys watched the new uh, trailer for the new Star Wars movie that came out like a few weeks ago? Oh my god. I think it came out like about a month ago now. Oh my god. You guys got... I mean, you guys got to watch that. You guys got to go see that movie when it comes out. I'm going to go see it. It just looks so damn good. Okay. And what's up with these princess movies coming out? Like, September 27th, they're playing Moana. And then on September 27th, they're playing The Princess and the Frog. And right now, they're playing uh, Tangled. Why are you playing princess movies? Why can't you play... If you're going to play princess movies, why don't you play Aladdin? That's a good movie. Literally, that's a really good movie. That's my favorite Disney movie other than Toy Story. I loved Aladdin when I was a little kid. I saw the new one. It's really good. They're still advertising uh, Toy Story 4, but that movie's not even in theaters anymore. It's going to be on, on digital in like a week, so go get it. Wait, who wants to get the digital if it's coming out on DVD the next week? Like, I'm going to get it on Blu-ray when it comes out. The Angry Birds Movie 2 is not in theaters. Oh, damn! That movie wasn't even in theaters for, like... For, like, almost... That movie wasn't even on DVD for, like, a, for like two months. Not even two months. Like, a month and a half. Because the movie's been out um, since uh, August 13th. Huh, some movies are not even in theaters anymore. Hobbs and Shaw is still in theaters. Only oh, my theater. Uh, good Boys. Such a good movie. Really funny. The Lion King. I'm trying to find a showing for uh, for this weekend, but I'm not pretty sure if it's going to play this weekend coming up because I don't know. This movie's been out here since July, September, almost October, and the uh, three day weekend's coming up for like a Jewish holiday. I'm not Jewish though, but. Uh, well, we have to take the day off for the people that that are Jewish. It's like the Jewish have to take the days off for the holiday season for Christmas because holidays, Christmas and New Year's, the Jewish celebrate the New Year's as well, right? Because um, just to say that um. Dora the Explorer, the movie, is still in theaters. And oh my god, I have not seen that movie. Like, there's no movies that really interest me in theaters lately. Until next month, when I go see uh, Joker and Zombieland 2. I can't wait for those movies. <laughs> and they're both all rated. <laughs> Who cares if it's an R rated movie? It's still a movie. Well, who cares if it has strong language and violence and sexual content? It's still a movie. Sausage Party. That movie should have been NC-17. Because, just to say, they've been... Um, I heard parents brought their kids to go see Sausage Party when it came out three years ago. And they were complaining that it was an R-rated animated movie, which it was a dirty cartoon. Like, it... It's all rated for a reason. Sexual content, drug use, strong language and violence. It's not a kid's movie. If you want to go take your kids to go see a movie, I don't know what was playing in theaters then. I think uh, Finding Dory was still playing in theaters then. Why don't why didn't you take your kids to go see that instead? Or or wait until um like 
2019 to go see like Dark Phoenix or or Avengers Endgame or Spider Man or Toy Story Four, and show your kids what you um, what what you did when in your during your childhood. Like if they ever made a Toy Story Five, which I don't think they're ever going to do, that let's just say that uh, uh God, I don't know uh, that. I grew up watching Toy Story. Like this is my childhood. I'm gonna show my my kids the Avengers. They're gonna be like, Daddy, who were the Avengers? I'm gonna be like, Oh, there was an idea to bring uh, together like a group of heroes, and then um, other other ones I forgot. Uh, and then I'm gonna show them the X Men. They're gonna be like, Daddy, who were the X Men? I'm gonna be like. Oh, uh, there were some mutants uh, that were uh, that they um, teamed up, and uh, they had a gun went to school or the place where they had to live, and then um, and then they have Deadpool, Wolverine, and then um, Professor X, I believe. You know, it's like crazy. Yeah, I like those movies, and people are gonna be like, "Oh," and my and my kids are gonna be like, "Daddy, who was the Justice League?" I'm gonna be like. Oh, they're like, uh, they have Superman, Batman, uh, Aquaman, The Flash, Wonder Woman, Cyborg. They also have, um, like Green Lantern. Yeah, so I can know that they have in the Justice League. But I heard the Green Lantern movie sucked ass. I know it's a Ryan Reynolds movie, but seriously? No. That movie just looked... I saw bits and pieces of that movie. I was like, what the hell am I watching? De he's all right, Ryan Reynolds is so much better as Deadpool than Green Lantern. Like, he's way better than Green Lantern. And... I'm, gonna try to watch, I'm trying to find something on Netflix. There's like nothing to watch. Uh, Disenchantment, uh, Disenchantment, um, part two is out now, and I haven't finished, uh, part one yet, I never got a chance to finish part one yet, but, I hear Stranger Things 3 is, like, working on, uh, uh, Stranger Things is working on uh, number four, maybe it might come out, um, next summer, who knows, maybe it might come out next October, uh, like, uh, Season one came out in like in July of 2016, and then the next year came out, in, and then Stranger Things two came out in October, and then Part three came out this year in, in July. And what about the next one? Is it going to come out in like uh, October? I'm I'm kind of curious. All right, Ew, big mouth. I did not want to watch that again. Literally, big mouth. Should put up a content warning saying this show is not recommended for younger viewers. The show contains like strong language and strong sexual content. Cause the the show shows uh like middle school students going through puberty. Like, it is so disturbing. Yeah, I'm going through puberty as well, but it's just, what the, well, that show's just going way too far with jokes, sexual jokes, and all that. Paradise PD. Do not ever watch it. That's like a, some type of. Really, really inappropriate. It's, a, it's another dirty cartoon. All they all have like a drug, um, drug related jokes and all that. It's kind of like a copy of Family Guy because uh, they have a talking dog, so it's more like a copy of Family Guy. I uh, I like Family Guy. That's a that, that's a really really good show. I think it's better than The Simpsons because The Simpsons is highly overrated. Yeah, 
Okay, I gotta go charge my computer. And it's like really low. And it's like at uh, where are we at? Uh, forty percent. Yeah, they have this ad all day. Yeah, I went to go to Walmart earlier today. I found this movie for like um, twenty four ninety nine. A good movie. Yeah, I also went to the store the other week and I bought. I think it was um. I believe it was earlier last week. I believe it was last week. And I bought... Oh, I know it's some type of paper. No. A type of paper. And then it has like a... I, don't know. I bought the Hitman's Bodyguard. I think I bought it like two weeks ago. and never watched it yet. So I can't find the Blu-ray remote. But this is a good movie. I, I haven't seen it yet. So I don't know how it is but i have the i already entered the digital copy on, onto my uh voodoo account because it's, i guess it doesn't allow a it's not on um, movies anywhere it's not made by the, the following companies like uh Warner brothers disney sony uh or other companies that i think those are like the only companies i know that make those uh, that are allowed to put their put them in yeah, it did. Oh, also Universal. Yeah, Universal also adds um, and yeah, that's all. Did I say Fox. Yeah, uh, they also add Fox movies on there too, although it's still Disney. They also have all the Star Wars movies. I don't think they have uh, the Clone Wars on there. But they have all the live action Star Wars movies. Alright, I'm gonna go now. I gotta go.